You're watching Pegarai TV, Rhode Island's public access channel. Welcome to the Single Ladies Cafe. Um, today we're going to be talking about internet dating. Um, I don't even know where to start with this internet dating stuff. I'm like totally, I don't know. I just don't even know where to start with it really. So I think um, the best thing for us to do is I think my message that I would like to send out to the um, audience, especially to women who do um, date off the internet is um, to kind of know and understand what you're doing when you date on the internet. And, and particularly those that are trying to build a relationship that is lasting. Our question that we posed on Facebook had to do with dating online and falling in love with someone who you've never met. Okay, I can understand you haven't met him yet. Okay, but we have some women that um, it's been years. You've developed this relationship with him and you haven't met him yet. What's really going on? Because I, 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 I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I realized that um, you know, people are finding love all over the place, any kind of way. Um, today, you, you know, I don't know if you guys experience this, but I get hey mm -hmm. in my email, hey on my Facebook, hey or hello, I can't you know, stand on that. chats. Mm -hmm. They want you to come and join them for chats or whatever the case may be. And today, I learned one today that I didn't know about was. Um, the games, like when you're doing the gaming mm -hmm. thing, like what, how, I'm, you go, mm-hmm, do you know that? Like, yeah. how I, does that happen? I'm trying to figure out when I'm playing Words With Friends, so it's like, hey, I'm do you, your okay. butt today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I guess they feel like they have something in common with you, I guess. <laughs> It's like, I'm whooping your behind today. Let me see you come back with that one. Yeah. 54 But points. how does that go from that to dating? It, it can. can be somebody, it maybe can. they're in the, the, you know, competitive people and it just, competitive yeah. is attractive. You might get along I mean. and start other talking in other ways, you know. And okay. Aren't you able to chat and message and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. and that's how yes. it happens. Yes, okay, I was just trying to figure it out. I'm just, I mean, when I'm on, I'm on to play a game, but, you know. But um, I just wanted to be able to lead those women today or just bring some um, light to the situation, maybe something that we'll talk about today might help them to understand and under no circumstances are we um, judging anybody. We're just trying to make sure that you have all the information that you need to go into um, you know, that type of dating um, scenario. So I think the first thing is that we'll tackle is, you know, cool or not cool to date off the internet. What do you guys think? Personally, I wouldn't do it. There's some people that do. I I just wouldn't do it. I I to me, I just I feel like people don't tell you the truth. You know okay. what I mean? So I'm not into chatting with you on the internet and not knowing who you are. I rather see you in person. I rather I rather meet you on the street in that case. You know what I mean? I don't want to meet you online. Okay. What do you think? Cool or not cool? Personally, um, relationships, definitely not. Um, I kind of thought, like, I don't know, me, I kind of thought maybe Facebook would be a little bit safer because you got people where you have their friends and you know, like when you see people connecting and talking with people every day and you kind of say, okay, well maybe, you know, there's some truth to who this person is. But then after I watched Catfish, I was like, well, <laughs> it doesn't really pan out that way because you have women that are pretending to be men right. to 
keep this girl away from this guy because that person likes the same guy as them mm -hmm. or something. So, um, I, I don't think so. I, well, I, I think, think, I think it's just, I don't know. I think it's an alternative to I think it's meeting lazy. people face to face because when you meet people face to face, it does take work. But newsflash, even if you're on the internet, it takes work. So mm -hmm. I think people think it's easier to meet people and to build a relationship with someone via the internet. They feel like it's less intimidating. You know, some people don't don't like to meet people. Like they they feel intimidating just by sitting next to someone and actually talking to them. Some people can't do that. They some people are better at texting, getting their point across by writing, you know what I mean? And some people can't do that face to face. So what happened to the communication skills if you don't have those social skills they or went communication skills? Like you learn how to drive, and I say this all the time, the same way, you, you don't just jump in the car and start driving, you have to go take a test. So if you are going to date, it's the same thing to me, if you don't know how to date or if you don't know how to communicate or your social skills are not great get a book learn how to or, or sit in smaller groups mm -hmm. or so i'm just saying yeah, i mean i agree i just don't think that excuses for being on the internet or dating on the internet that i've heard so far some is, people believe that they get a, a stronger bond with people on their on the internet rather than actually why face is to that? face. Why would that be though? Like I'm trying to figure out I, I guess what it is is that I, I guess what, what I'm what I'm hearing is that when they're on the internet, they're not face to face, so they can be they, they kinda like they can lie. They, yeah, they right. can yeah, they can't lie. Yeah, they can't they can lie. Yeah, they can, yeah, looking, they can lie but but they right, right, but they way. feel like they, they have a stronger bond. The exactly. They feel like they have a stronger bond because they can say what they want to say and you're not actually in their face. Like you said, they can lie. There's you know, people have telltale signs of lying, yeah. but they feel that they have a stronger bond. You know what I mean? Because they are able to just say what they want to say and you you can't actually you don't actually know what who they really are. I just are. think like if you know that you normally would not get a stripper or a model mm -hmm. or somebody like that, like what are you doing? Like you, you're not Stay in your lane. In your lane. No. You're not exactly. in your lane. Exactly. So mm -hmm. like for you to actually think that that person is real, you there has to be red flags because if you know that you normally don't attract them when you're walking on the street, you are not going to attract that person online. They're online, either. exactly. Right. But that's why it should start, if you do meet someone online, it does start by chatting and emailing, then it should go to phone calls, then it should go to meeting in a public place. But I, you know what I mean? But how long should that be though? Like, okay, well, I get this, if it, you meet someone, because here's my thing, if I meet someone today and we exchange phone numbers, we're talking, but I've met you, I know what you look, so your appearance is checked okay. Mm -hmm. When you're on the internet, there's no guarantee of if there's a picture. Why people who would build a relationship with someone <laughs> who doesn't have, have a picture? picture? I don't understand. I it. don't but even accept friend requests on Facebook. With people that have pictures and it don't even be that, that person. person. Well, that's my. That's where I'm mm -hmm. going with this. Is that someone who does have pictures? That may. There's no guarantee that that's the person. And when you were saying about the stripper, or if you don't normally date a stripper or a model or something if you know if you don't attract those on the street why would you think that someone on Facebook would be attracted to you a model or a stripper on on Facebook or any of these sites so my thing is you have to build um, um, a conversation now with me if I'm gonna date you and build the conversation I'm not gonna waste my time so I'm not gonna form this conversation between giving my number and when we see each other. So I think the important thing to me is, okay, I need to see you first. <laughs> then I'm gonna have a dialect, because if I don't like you, I'm not gonna waste my time or yours, really. But to be on the internet and not sure and spilling my business and you're, I gotta listen to you with whatever you're talking about and but then come to find out like, that you're not even who you say you are is outrageous well, 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 see, to well, me. Well, once you do, okay, let's say you do go through the chatting and email and then you go through the phone calls and let's say, okay, you finally do get to meet. If, 
hey, if they're not the person that you thought it was or you don't like something about them once you meet That's them. That's wasting you, my time. You, you go on. That's but some, but some people time. don't feel like it's a waste of time, though. Some people don't feel like that's a waste of time because some people are really looking for that certain someone and they don't feel like that's a waste of time because especially if they find that, that, some, that's, that special someone. Some they don't feel like they like don't. People just like to listen to people talk sometimes. Don't you ever find somebody like <laughs> I that? I don't have that kind of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that kind of time. I think they need more hobbies other than online, but I don't have that kind of time. So internet searching for me would not be appropriate for me. I would definitely have to, first of all, like I said, I don't have that much time. <laughs> but um, I think with me personally, I'm a first contact person. Even if I'm buying clothes or jewelry or whatever the case may be, I kind of have to be in love with it at first sight for me to say, you know, okay, this is it. This is you know, so I think I have to see you first. There has to be some kind of attraction before I waste time trying to, you know, build this relationship and then come to find out after a year because we made all these excuses about trying to meet one another. And then a year later, I'm involved emotionally only because... I just don't see how you can be involved as emotionally if you never met the person like I can't be involved I mean I can like say that say I'm in a relationship like these people yeah I, I know and I think that's crazy because we I could say oh they, they they seem cool I could say oh they seem cool I talked to them on the phone a couple of times or maybe we chatted or something but I couldn't say that I'm emotionally involved because in order for me to be emotionally involved I, I need to be around you I'm just thinking what type of people these are because when I watched I think catfish mm -hmm. when I watched the, the show these women were women that normally would not be caught in these type of um, relationships, but they are. So I'm starting to wonder now. You okay. have to be like real desperate. It, it, like kind of like I exactly. think because I remember one time I was um, AOL's Black Voices Member of the Week, mm -hmm. and they took my profile picture. I didn't even know they took my profile picture my membership account they put it on the front page of AOL black voices and no word of a lie like out of nowhere I just started getting all these instant this is when instant messaging was hot mm -hmm. and then, <laughs> I started getting all these instant messages from random guys and I'm like what like what's going on here and then finally I asked somebody I said how did you get my information and he said you're black voices member of the week and I mean I got hundreds of people oh, it was really hundreds. bad and out of one out of, out of everybody one person stuck and it's still my friend to this day we wow. never met like it was never anything mm -hmm. romantic or anything like that it one person eight years later that we're still good friends but to sift through all those people those mm. people are complete creeps i don't know how people get to a point where they can get past being these people being creeps because gen, like they're because just, they're they're the signs are there. They're just they're ignoring the signs. Ignoring and the red flags are there. If we open up my AOL account <laughs> and we look at my list, my block list is off the oh chain. And I'm goodness. just like, how do people meet people off of the internet and get romantically involved or whatever it is that they do? Because, I mean, it was it was just raunchy. It, it was well, <laughs> some, people, some people meet friends. I mean, I, I just can't say that for someone to be emotionally involved. Friends are different. You know because I mean? when you're on Facebook, you're looking for friends yeah. or business people. But some people take it past that. And I know they do because um, there are accounts that, like Black Planet for mm -hmm. one, you know, when I first heard of that and I went on and, you know, I'm thinking business. Well, no, I get tons and tons and tons and tons of all the time, all day. Hi, how are you? They are so bad on Black Planet that I have a ring, a diamond ring that's my profile picture, and they will go on and say, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, you're the kind of woman I've been looking for. I've oh, been my kinda, goodness. I read your wow. profile. And, oh, and I just get to the point where I don't even read them anymore. I just go, these people are crazy, and they literally have these pictures up or whatever the oh case may be, or whoever. God. But it's it's crazy, and I'm just trying to think to to, to about someone who might be um, not as strong as myself, that might be a little more weaker, or you know, may have a problem finding 
um, dates or whatever the case may be, the problems are out there why people would turn to the internet. But um, it's crazy to me. It it's is. crazy. I don't think people look at it look at it in that sense. Like they they're not thinking because to me, there's a lot of perverts on there. There's there's, 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 there's these. I mean, there's crazy people on there, like crazy, like there's stalkers that literally just stalk you. Like they, when you post pictures, that GPS shows people where you're, where you're located, yeah. where you took that picture yeah. at, where you posted that picture yeah. at. People don't think about those things, yeah. and that's Put scary. In you know, danger. that's scary. Well, I had somebody take my picture <clears throat> and their picture and merge it together. Oh no! Oh, and send it to me. Oh, oh crazy! Okay, crazy people. <laughs> so yeah, I think. You know, I, I don't know. We're going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, online dating and falling in love with people and, you know, if it works or not. But I have known people to go online and date and is in healthy relationships. I mean, good relationships. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't even, I'm not into it, so I don't even ask. Like, what? But I remember this one person saying to me, are you dating somebody? And at the time I was, and well, if you, if that doesn't work out, just wrote out a link for me. And I was <laughs> like, wow. oh, okay. But when we come back, we got it in this segment, but when we come back, we're gonna talk about, is it possible to um, meet somebody, not meet them, but get married to them? Just asking, we'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in, this is Single Ladies Cafe. Oh, yeah. We are back. Thank you for tuning in to the Single Ladies Cafe. Um, today we're talking about internet dating. And we just have this question about women who fall in love with men on the internet. Um, we're just trying to figure it out. We, we're not judging you. We're just trying to figure out. I realize that, um, I don't, uh, let me put it this way. Some people say that they do the online dating because they don't have enough time um, to actually get out. So somebody that might, you know, work a lot of hours, they wouldn't have time. But I'm just trying to, my opinion of that is, maybe I got it all mixed up or confused, but it takes a lot of time to be online, right? Mm -hmm. And to sift through all those. Yes. So the time that they're making profiles and doing all that, they could be out. In about. I mean, but just but what's the point, though? Like, if you don't have the time to do it, then why are then you why, waiting? Then, exactly. exactly. Because then if you find a person, you don't have no time, you're not going to have any time for them anyway. So what's mm -hmm. the point? Because they're comfortable with not having to ever meet up with that person. Exactly. And speak to them in person. And just to say that they had someone. When some, you're not in the have mood, someone. they don't have to be bothered with them. Mm, you're right. And just, exactly, like you said, just to say, but you don't. I but but I don't understand is that... To date, to find someone, you don't have to actually go out to find someone. You can be at the grocery store. You right. can be anywhere and right. and bump into someone. We, and, if you're out you know, in public, you're around exactly. people all so day. So I don't. I, so that's to that's even at work. Like, excuse. like if you're saying I work a lot, there's people at work. I mean, well, we if you, you really to lunch or exactly, whatever. yeah. So I, I, you know, I understand that. People use that as an excuse for going on. I call it an excuse because, um, you know, there's just many ways or many places um, that you can go to meet people. Um, and you just never know. Sometimes you just be in the right place at the right time. And I think another thing that, you know, we should probably clear up too before we get into the marriage part is um, when we say we're in love or, or we want to be in love, what exactly are we saying? You know, are we clear about what our intentions are when we... Most of those people are just in lust. Exactly, That's and I don't think, is. I don't think, mo like she said, I don't think most of them even know what in love means. And, and what, what people don't understand is that when you love someone and you're in love, those are two different things. You know what I mean? And, oh, absolutely. And you, you, have to, you have to have a physical connection with exactly, somebody. Exactly, to, to be, be in, in love. love. Like, you can't just be in love based off of e yeah. conversation no, online. No, not at all. And even on the phone, you can't even trust them on the phone. No. Because the people sometimes don't even be themselves. They got That's friends. That's true. Doing their calls. Pretending to be, exactly. like, it's crazy. Mm -mm. You have I need to, to be like, around there you. There has to be that chemistry when you actually exactly. meet mm -hmm. each other. Exactly. Before you can say you're exactly. in love with I, I don't believe it when yeah. people say they're in love no, and they've never but met. But there are a lot of women who are dating online that have 
who are in committed relationships with these men that has never ever they have never met these men before but they have a man that's okay. all the okay, they, that's, that's what so the, they can have the title but yeah I'm, I'm sorry i just don't believe that anyone's committed to someone that they never met before. Like, they, like I'm sorry. There's things that I don't like about people. There's things that I know I can look at you like two seconds of looking at you and I can say, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Or just when you open your mouth. Right. Exactly. Like just, you know. But they're, they're like, li I have to be able to see all that. Yeah. Like, I can't. So, we're, so, say, so okay, they're well, saying maybe. that even if they literally live in two different states, they can live across the world from each other, but they're in love and they're committed to this person? Yeah. Like, no, they're lying. Yeah, <laughs> some, people, some people really do like they really don't date other people. They'll right. tell somebody I am in a relationship, yeah, or whatever the case may be. Like they I, never met this person, and they will still like don't try to holler at me. I got a man. I just don't see it. I, I I'm sorry. It like they, like there was a guy on my Facebook that actually inboxed me, and we had good conversation. Okay, we we um took each other's numbers but what happened was it was so funny because he lived in New York and he was supposed to come to meet me and he never he didn't so strike then he kept calling mm -hmm. and then I'm like he's like but you know I, I really want to be with you but I don't want you to see anyone else so whoever yeah. else you're seeing exclusive. and speaking to, to exactly so I said exclusive so I'm like, to what though exactly. he's not even coming down here exactly. so, so you're he probably to see like you. laying in the bed with some chick exactly right. so to you. me you're out of your mind you know what I'm saying so then when he inboxed me one day and said hey um, well I guess you must have met someone well, yeah, I did. And but he's, why and, did he say that? Yeah, and he goes, he saw because, because he saw my, and I, no, I never put a relationship status. Pictures. He must have seen pictures or okay. whatever. And then I'm like, well, um, he, so he got all upset and he's telling me, well, well, um, I guess you'll be inviting me to the wedding one day. So it was like, why so like with an attitude, like, like, I don't know I you. Like, like, you haven't even coming down from New York yet. So exactly. Why would you so, you know, the funny thing about that from watching like shows like Catfish, that could even be a female on right. the other. How do you know? Because right, like, that's what they've been. They've yeah. been chicks. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, and not only that, they, they, I don't know. I just think that, you know, the guy you it could might really be, be dating. It could be a girl that's really feeling you. I mean, well, you just well, don't well, know like a, sound like a guy on the phone. We got a strong, of they sound a really like strong it. accent. Oh, you on the phone. Yeah, okay. yeah, we did talk on the oh, phone. Okay, that's So that's different. why I that's said that, hey, well, why don't you come here and then we can meet. But I'm not having a relationship with someone that I never met and you live way in New York I'm sorry I'm not I'm not really kosher mm -hmm. with having that long but let me ask you this while we're on it why would you even strike up a conversation or exchange phone numbers with someone on was it Facebook? it was Facebook Did you say? Yeah. on Facebook well we were friends for a while on Facebook and we just happened to start chatting and like inboxing each other for a while and you know he seemed to be a nice person from conversation on on Facebook so I was like you know hey well, we exchange numbers and instead of keep inboxing, you know what I mean? I want to hear what he sounds like. I want, you know, just you need to talk to someone rather than me reading what you're typing. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason for us exchanging numbers. So then I know you. Mm -hmm. I know what kind of lady you mm -hmm. are. Um, so someone to me that is not as strong as you mm -hmm. would definitely go for that. Yes, they would have took that bait. Yes, to me, they would have. When someone goes into like I'm, I agree with Fox. They go into our inbox. Like I have people that will go into my inbox. Hey, or hello. That I don't know. They're not even friends with me on Facebook. They're not. They're not someone that I normally would talk to. But when you've got somebody going in, speaking to you, I'm just trying to figure out if someone goes to your inbox and says, hey, and you respond to it, what's really going on there? There's a hook there. You know what I mean? Because right, my whole thing there's is something if you're going to hate hook, me, make sure that there's more stuff following that. Like, yeah, don't exactly. Just, hey, and then just and don't say anything because you'll get hate back. Yeah, because that's what I do. If you just put, hey, I, I'm like, hey. And if it's nothing, or sometimes I get people that actually get real derogatory. And, and they say like the explicit things. And I'm like, you know, you're gonna get deleted. You right. know what I mean? So please watch your tone. You I'm do. not. I'm you not that chick. I, yeah. I do. I do. I, I. I literally do. And mm -hmm. I say, you know, I'm not that chick. You want to. You would want to respect me. I'm a lady at all times, and you would want to carry that type of conversation. Don't even. Get and it just that. keeps going. I just go on and I just delete them. You well, know. So she is good because I'm very. When it comes to Facebook, I'm very work oriented mostly. Mm -hmm. 
So when I get anything that's not work related, I want them. This is a business for me. And if your conversation continues, that's, you know, and it's not business related, you will be blocked. I will warn them that, but I give them the, I let them know I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know I, for I a fact, I don't want nobody. Yeah, no, well, don't. I, well I, um, I, yeah, I, I know f she doesn't, but <laughs> I, I usually give a warning, and I'm only going to warn you one time I don't know you. Right. So you're only going to get warned one time. And right. once you but cross those boundaries, right. I'm done. done. You know, I'm done, done. Done, done, done. I think that the reason why I don't give people warnings is because you can look at me, in my pictures and you can look if you just read my wall and you can tell what type of person mm -hmm. I am so when you come to me in my inbox with anything stupid you get blocked because you obviously were right very right right I don't tolerate it yeah. and that's how I am with men on the outside mm -hmm. my thing is don't approach me if you haven't did your research you know my thing is n know what kind of person I am mm -hmm. Don't come to me crazy because you. Uh, I pretty much have it. Wear yeah, it on yeah, my face. I do too. I'm, Bad. I, I, I have a very <laughs> low tolerance of foolishness, so you won't find. Well, me I on. think with me, people learn that I'm. I have low yeah, tolerance. They do. See, people take me as she's giggly. Mm -hmm. She's always smiling, mm -hmm. and I do. Mm -hmm. But don't well, take I that for my weakness. That's but why they gravitate mm -hmm. to you. When all three of us are out, they gravitate yeah, to you. They yeah, do. But but I, but they do. Like, mm -hmm. They're like, that's and the easy one. Yeah, yeah, but, but, they, but that's what they think. I know. Right. And, but I'll be the one that will shut you down she quick. Will. Look, I know. Quick. Gentlemen, <laughs> let me warn you. <laughs> You will get I'm, shut I'm down. Very, I have a very low tolerance, but <laughs> I don't don't take don't my smile as a as mm -hmm. a weakness because no. it's not. You yeah, know no, what I mean? People no. tend to the think the three that. of us at this table, believe me, are very strong women. So I say, mm, keep that moving. Right. Um, so internet dating does not work over here. No. Not at all. Not at all. Not so here. what about the marriage part, though? Because we only have a few minutes left. Um, what do you guys think? What do you How feel? How is that possible? Well, if you're dating and you're committed to somebody, um, uh, you're committed to this person, you're not dating anybody else. That gentleman said, stop dating somebody else. Somebody else weaker than Miss Kiki would take that bait and say, I'm not going to date anybody else. I'm just dating him exclusively. So he says, will you marry me one day? One day. But that's, that's, but. No, let me put it this way. One day he says will you he asked mm -hmm. will you marry me on the internet he asked on the me internet. That? oh heck. and, and i see them do that though like they do have met text messages let's get married or will you marry me and the idiot says not idiot i'm sorry <laughs> 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 the person says yes you know and it's all this i love you's and like how do you no. get to that point no. that you're saying i love you to somebody that you don't know no. i barely say i love you to the one that i'm uh, in a relationship with that, that real. So i know that how is it that you could do it to somebody that you never yeah. met i don't understand I, 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 so I the don't marriage know. thing i don't no. get it, I, it I just doesn't. well i always thought that you had to be um face to face to get married anyway so i'm assuming that you're not going to meet that person until the until, wedding until you get day. to the altar like no, that's until not you go get your marriage certificate because you should be able to go get a marriage certificate before you even have your wedding but no? yeah you, you do you do go get the marriage certificate, certificate without first the guy, but without the person though, right? yeah you can so but you can go to city hall right. and all you well, these nowadays you can probably do stuff on the internet oh. okay but you still have to go take a blood test what happened oh. to that part? You still they, do a blood sell, test. They sell HIV tests in CVS, so I'm sure that they have eight, they have That's blood crazy. tests. That's crazy. There they is do no now. way. They I just can't now. see myself telling someone I love them. I never met you. That's not going to happen. Like people, people complain all the to me when we that I never back, say it. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk about those statistics that you have. So that should tell you right there yeah. what it, what what how many women and men are online dating. And I'm sure most of them are not healthy anyway, but no. we'll be right back, everybody. And when we come back, we're going to talk about those st statistics. I mean, it's a lot of women out there. Wow. We'll be right back. We are back. Welcome to the Single Ladies Cafe. In this segment, we're going to just briefly um, talk about some statistics um, of people that, you know, date or have a relationship on um, the internet. And then we're gonna go into our segment because technically this is JV's segment where he gives us our feedback, um, our social media from our Facebook fan page. So we're gonna 
let Kiki just kind of give you some statistics just to let you know that online dating is real and it's um, high. It's a lot of people on there that's, that does it. So what do you have, Miss Kiki? Okay, so I got this from the Wall Street Journal. Um, in 2007, survey found that 2% of people married in, the pa in their past year had met on eHarmony. So I guess that's one of the better sites to go on. Um, and Match.com has said it had generated the most marriages of any site based on a survey. The Wall Street Journal in 2006 examined online formed marriages that ended in divorce. Hmm. What about Christian Mingle or whatever that is? That, that, that actually, Christian Mingle was in one of the top ten. I bet it was. Christian Mingle is in one of the, the top right ten. To top ten of divorces. Uh, no, well, top ten of oh, of, of, of the sites of that people, like. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're not plenty fornicating. of fish. No, they're not. How, how um, you know. Well, actually, they haven't met each other. How you fornicate? Well, actually, plenty of fish. Did, <laughs> well, actually, plenty of fish did not make top ten. Really? I no, they did. Terrible. I they did not make Catholic. top ten. Actually, yeah, they, it was um, it was Zeus, <laughs> Match. dot com, Chemistry. dot com, Our Time. dot com, oh, eHarmony, no, Christian Mingo, Matchmaker, J Date, which is for Jewish, okay. Single Parents, and Be Naughty. Those were the top ten. Oh, okay. Who the so heck is Be Naughty? <laughs> Be naughty. You li that's a Facebook one. Be naughty is okay. is has to do with Facebook too. I think I remember seeing that. that yeah, once. if you I sign up know, on be naughty, it's kind of like through Facebook. But that's not that's number ten. Okay. Uh, no uh, black people meet here dot com or whatever that black was. Men dot com. Black people meet dot com. They didn't make no top ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they not um, meeting black men then. Yeah. Okay. So. That first one you said it was two percent of what they yeah. get. Yeah, the two percent uh, get, get married, and that's on eHarmony. So two percent out of what percentage? A hundred? Because two percent is very they, low to they, me. They, they no, actually, because they have millions of people that actually sign up on these okay. sites. They they actually went above the million. So two okay. percent of their millions. That's a okay. lot of people. All right. So a lot of wow, a lot of y'all are online dating. Um, so to, people do get them. married. Yes, but a lot of them end in divorce. End in divorce. Okay, so there's no guarantee that no. you're going to stay married just because you met somebody through the internet. Thank you, Kiki, you're for welcome. that report. I appreciate it. JV, yeah. what's going on with you? Just a lot. <laughs> a lot? You yeah, had a definitely. lot of responses from that question that we posted, and so that the audience know what the question is. It was, um, is it possible to... Um, um, find love or be in love with someone who you have never met before. Right. So let's take it a little bit um, deeper because um, we don't want to say you never met yet. Right. We want to say somebody that really has never met somebody um, one year, two year, three year, four year on up um, and most likely will never meet. So what were some of the responses that you got from? Well, um, like never met, it's not really they didn't really go by that because some of these they actually did meet but some of them they did not meet and there was like they could just got out of the dating thing scene because they didn't want to go further so they've, they've never met some together. of the men they, they, I'm sorry they've never met any of the men or women no. is so they got so what was the discouraging point so they got out of the relation they got out of the dating scene because they've never met someone that was like worth it to them Oh, so they just are not doing online. They were doing it online, but they were like. So no. they're done mm -hmm. all together with the dating scene, or just done dating online? Dating online, they yeah. they're taking it to oh, okay. like go look back at it, and like can be dangerous. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, never know. Absolutely, just be careful. Yeah, yeah. but like some of them, um, the people that responded, they were like, some one of my friends actually met her husband through Match. dot com, and they got married, and they just had their little baby boy in December. Oh, nice. How long have they been married? Um, not even a year yet. Oh. But they actually, like, okay. get along really good and all okay. that stuff. Okay. So, like, you know how Kiki has her theory, like, if your, um, <laughs> if your pupils don't touch the bottom of your eyes, 
Here she go. That makes you like a, you know, capable of murder. Like, do they check that stuff? Like when they're meeting these Nobody people? Nobody ain't checking well, against auntie's No, but, no, but okay, okay, okay but, but that out. is, <laughs> but that is real though. No, like, you know, I was looking at a singer yesterday and I was like, ooh, touch, ooh, they don't touch. Let me tell you, that's, <laughs> that's real. Like, I do it to everyone now. Like, literally, even to kids. Like, I literally. <laughs> Kids. Yeah, I no, do. I'm real. No, she I, got me doing no, it. No, I'm but. serious. Like I really, I really do because you never know that child can grow yeah. up to be a murderer. Like you just, you just never know. Like I want to know. Like I'm sorry. I want to know. I look at everything. I do, especially people's eyes. I she do. Got me looking. I ain't <laughs> She, she hasn't looking. got me looking yet. I looked at my, I looked at my, my boyfriend, I was like, mm, <laughs> your eyes is pretty close to not touching the bottom. <laughs> terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> okay, JV. Um, so she's happily married. She just had a baby. Yeah. And um, so we wish her the best. Did then. she say how long they dated online before they actually got married? No, she didn't say that. No. But um, let's see. Yeah, she didn't really say anything like that. Then yeah. another one. Like right. that's what I'm interested in. Like, did they like live they like, live in the same state? Did he move from where he was to where she is? Like They moved in together. So So they lived in, they met and they both lived in Rhode Island? No, Mass. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, cuz I think the thing is, you know, the whole um marriage that that she, did you say it was a female yeah. that met or your friend? Okay. So Married, have a baby, but haven't been married for a full year yet. It's still kind of under yeah, the, yeah. you know, because um, we don't really have a lot about that person. I just wish them the best, especially now that you have a baby uh, yeah, with him. Definitely. I hope everything works out. That's for sure. And then, like, so, it's because one of my other friends, um, she was like, the internet can be like creepy and stuff, and then she met creepers on there. But and some of them, she got into friends. When you she say met, friend. physically met that person. Physically oh, met okay. him after a while. Oh, okay. Going uh, on like thousands of these websites. Yeah, and um, then what happened with those guys? Well, like, some she like totally cut off from her life period, but some they actually became friends. Like now they're friends, and then there's nothing more to it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But, um, so what would what would what would what would be the reason for putting them in the friends category versus the husband category? What happened? That they probably don't. They didn't feel like feel the mutual once they met. Once they met, physical. Okay. the physical, physical attraction wasn't that's there. Is, yeah, the that's, physical attraction wasn't there. If you can't get past the physical, it don't right. matter. None yeah. of that right. conversation that you have. Before well, that was my yeah. point when I was saying that I don't waste my time because. I'm not gonna have a conversation, build conversation with you, get emotional with you, and I haven't met you yet. Right. So to me, it just wastes time. You have to, it's like prolonging the inevitable, and you have to start all over again. Versus yeah, especially when you like, when you like say, all right, let's meet up. We haven't met in like a year or two right. or whatever. After and then they, been, they mm. meet up, and it's like the mm. first two seconds, you want to be like. Like, so you want to get a call and, like, be like, I'm out of here and I'm done yeah, with this because yeah. you don't have that. I had a friend that used to do that, and she can vouch for you because I used to be so, like, <laughs> mad when I come home. Like, we would be um, out, and, you know, when we were growing up, the chat line was the thing that was jumping off. Like you call in and you're on the phone all day and you're bouncing through rooms and all this stuff, whatever. I had a friend that would literally give a description of either myself or one of our other friends to the guys that she was talking to and we would all be in a group setting like downtown ready to catch the bus and she set it up for the guys to meet but we didn't know anything about it and they're like approaching us and they're like oh so and so yeah what's going on so we gonna chill and I'm like who are you and they're like such and such from this and I'm like no I don't know you and then like she'll stand there and that like she wow. had no idea wow. what was going she on would, no, I and set it up her. and then I like, would have her spot would have gotten blown up and then when we like walk up. away and she was like oh he wasn't that cute and I'm like okay yeah he was that was that was wow. that was very selfless yeah. as a yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah just that's, totally that's putting you guys up. in oh, the yeah. danger zone yeah. and everything so because she wasn't happy with how she looked she would give our description out and then the guys would come and then we had to be the jerks to turn the guys away and pretty much cuss them out and all yeah, stuff for like her, that for right. her right. stupidity right. right and then it's she'll go right crazy. back on later on that night and do the same thing over and over again mm-hmm. just crazy crazy oh, totally anybody crazy. else James, huh. I mean, I should have got paid for that. 
For real. Um, <laughs> well, um, Cheryl was like, I think internet dating is a good thing. Um, she tried eHarmony for a professional single mom. It's hard to meet someone you have similar interests with. Granted, I didn't meet my boyfriend online. I went on, a, I went on quite a few dates and had a good time on pretty much all of them. All of what? All of the it, dates offline. online. Uh, all of the ones that she met online, she, she had, had pretty a good, good time. Date. Oh. So, but then. What she, was the pretty bad part about it? Because those wasn't her boyfriends, none of them. Right. But um, she then. Well, I like, think sometimes you can go out and have yeah, a good have a dinner, good time. meet somebody, have a good time, or whatever you do, and have that a good time. You but then you just them. realize that's just not the person that I'm connected with, or that's not not the person that I'm physically attracted to once you meet them. Because when we were watching Catfish, there were women that were so in love with these men, they have never met them, and because they didn't want to be disappointed, they would still keep that relationship going, even if he was this big, huge guy that was like 900 pounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, just because they were so in love with the thought of being in love and the thought of being in love with that person. Right. But oh, that man. person is not who you thought he was. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I see, want some of those episodes. All you, I'm see, like, huh? you meet people, see, you no, get see, all you, see, I don't understand because all you have to do is, is lie to me one time and I'm done. I'm done. That's my thing. Well, you I'm lie. Done. You lie to me one time and I'm done. If you are not who you say you are by this much, mm -hmm. mm, when I meet you, I'm done. done. The, like, to me, if like, you... Like, don't expect a phone call. Like, not right, yeah, right, right. Now, I'm when done. I, I don't want to be yeah. Like, I'm not even going to tell you that I made it home safely. No, like, don't bother. Right. Like, I will change no. my number. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. I, I just think that... Thank God for Google Voice. Yeah. I know, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, JV, we just... No, sorry. it's all good. Because that show was like, huh, are you kidding me? That's what they... Oh, do. I like, watched the episode last night where this dude was a straight-up hillbilly and the girl was like uh, Miss USA, Miss America something. And then she posed in Playboy and she was beautiful. And I'm like, dude, you have on the wrong plaid shirt and the wrong plaid shorts to come out and meet this, like, you know, model. And you really think that the model's gonna show up? And come to find out, it was actually one of his good friends that sat in his face every single day. <sighs> it, it ended up being her. And then she had the nerve to catch an attitude because they were like, well, why would you do something like that? Because she has multiple ap accounts on Facebook. Oh my goodness. And she just said she's addicted to doing that. And she was getting mad like because they were asking her, well, why would you do something like that? Wow. And she was just like, Mad because End nobody it, like, yeah. accepted the fact that yeah. she was, she made a profile up, but it was oh it was. And God. the thing about it is, is she's talked to him on the phone, and when they talked to him, they were like, "I don't know, that's not mm. her. That's that that's. Oh I don't know who that totally voice is." Deceptive, wow. Totally not honest. Yeah. Right. No, we got time for one more, James. All right, let's Do see. you have? Um. Let's see. There's so many pages. All right, um, mm -hmm. Karika, right? That's her name, right? Yes. Karika. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, I got it right this time. Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> um, she never believed in internet dating, but I am living testimony that is, it sure exists and works. I met my man through a friend on social site, and as I speak to you, though we have not seen, we know almost all about ourselves, and he has proposed. I think it's a little different, though. She met him through a friend. Yeah. And, but they, yeah, they okay, but never met. okay, she went through a friend, but <laughs> I'm sorry. But I mean, you kind of take your friend's word for it, no? No, no, not really. These not days, for, no. Your, my friend can't choose who who's who good, who's right for with. me, who's right. But for I'm me. just saying, like, you don't think much of it. You don't think he's like that much of a creeper because you no, met because a friend, when no? people are behind closed doors, you don't they, know what they do. You don't know what people do. No, my my friend friend might be a mass murderer that he don't know about because you know how all the mass murderers now. ID taught me this. Mm -hmm. and Discovery ID taught me this. You and right. um, all that <laughs> other stuff that they got going on. Nobody ever mm -hmm. thinks that the murderer is a bad person mm -hmm. until they murdered up the right. whole you, town. You, you see yeah. how in the so, neighborhoods mm -hmm. on, on the news, they talk, I would have never known they were so this oh, and they were so the that. <laughs> <laughs> they need to call <laughs> Discovery ID. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> like that's oh, crazy. There's people no people way. People I'm sorry. I don't care if one of my best friends introduced me to someone. I still don't take their need, word for it. I don't. I might go on a date. I might go on a date just don't because. Don't do it anymore. Don't you go no, there. no, Don't no, you no, go listen, there. listen. Don't I go might, there. no, 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 no. <laughs> I might go on a date 
you know what I mean, and all that, you know what I'm saying, because my friend introduced me. Mm -hmm. But I don't care, I still need to be around that person, but if because there's going to be something friend, that I don't you like. Can't, you I introduced you to somebody, you can't tell me that that didn't happen. You can't sit up here and tell that lie. Things are getting well, that but she was attracted to that person, <laughs> and that person was attracted to so her. So what I'm saying to you is, why? Can't, that's the same situation here. She's attracted to him. They met though. Yeah, but they, they, no, they, 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 see, they haven't met yet. They haven't even met yet. They haven't met, met yet. They haven't video chatted and all that stuff like but that. But you can lie on video chat. I'm just standing you in front of my. You can lie on yes, video you can. chat. You I'm can't pre-record a video okay, chat no, no, and then no, have yes, I can with sit. I can sit in front of my Skype and have a conversation with someone. As soon as I turn off that computer, who's to say what I'm doing after I turn that that, that camera right. off? Hey, not no, you do, but you know the person that you're dealing with. You're looking at the person. Okay, you can't change that. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that other room might be full, but might be full of hidden bars. Bodies and you, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, -uh I'm sorry. They might be no. hidden bodies anyway. It don't matter, especially if you don't spend time at their house. No. Oh my God. Uh, uh We really have to go <laughs> watch the Discovery ID. <laughs> Like, we really oh, got to stop. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. You are not even giving friends a chance to meet. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, to meet, but that person didn't meet. They didn't meet yet. No, she didn't meet. But exactly. I'm just saying, we're not even holding no punches, period. <laughs> <laughs> even with our friends that we know, we're just not. Mm -mm. And, the, and they proposed to her, too. I, no comment, no, anyway. but we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> we will be right back. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. You're clear. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to the Single Ladies Cafe. And in this segment, we're going to get our celebrity news and gossip from Fox. How you doing, Fox? Hi, Miss Essie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. What do you have for us today? Okay, so today we're going to do Exposure with the Fox a little different. Still okay. going to give you some gossip, but okay. I'm just going to mainly focus on the uh, reality shows that have premiered lately. Okay. First one I'm going to start with is The Sisterhood. Be careful. I am. <clears throat> <clears throat> The Sisterhood is on <laughs> TLC, okay, and it is supposed to be about the first ladies of churches based out of Atlanta, Georgia, and um, it's ratchet. Mm, wow. It, it's not, you know, the uplifting, um, bringing people closer to God and trying to give a better understanding, you know, of religion or stuff like that. It's not that at all. So and, what is it? Okay, it's pretty much like hood wives. I don't know. Like it's like wow. it's like I think someone said it best is um uh Bible toting basketball wives or something oh. like that. Like they're <laughs> like they're, it's just off the chain. Like there's a um there is uh Christina. She's married to I believe her his name is Joseph and he's like the head of a mega church or whatever the case may be and they have two children and they were actually having a talk about sex with their two um, um, pre-teenage daughters. <clears throat> it was very interesting. That it's segment. very, very too much information yeah. for me. And Ooh. I wouldn't want that taught to come from my father on top I mean, of a pastor father. And on top of that, I mean, he's... And I am a PK and, kid, and, so I can say that for the and people And how that, old are the, the children? I think they're not they're even in high school maybe. yet. I think they're, they're, they're young just going yeah, But they're young teenagers. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, here's like the issue I had with that was the mother was sitting there. Right, so and I, laughing. Right, so when you have to, when your father has a bag of condoms, condoms and he has a banana to demonstrate to how you put the, the condom on, it was and terrible. having the conversation about, you gotta make sure that you roll it down here and get all the air out. Terrible. Like it was just off the chain, and I'm like, okay, it was this terrible. is uncomfortable wow. for me right now. Like that's the worst talk and about I, sex even that on ever TV, witnessed. Even on TV, it was just bad. I then just he's talking about like how he had all. STDs, and, yeah, he yeah. was off the chain. A lot of them. Okay, but why didn't the mother? If it's two she two it girls, yeah. two girls. So shouldn't the mother had had that talk that with what them, I would not think. the father? Well, the father doesn't know like about our bodies and what we go through. Okay, I get it. Your message that you're trying to send, but I think it should have been dealt with a little more. Mm. That's a conversation for your son, yeah, not for your not daughter. For your daughters. Totally not. Totally. I don't know what was going on there, or where they thought that that was okay. Go ahead. Uh -huh. oh, cool. So then we have Tara. And Tara <sighs> is like the black Barbie. She's, you know, got the toned body, the big breast, nice butt, all that stuff like that, six pack. And then she's married to a Jewish guy 
whose family actually disowned him because he married a black woman mm -hmm. and had kids with a black woman. Okay. So his parents won't That's even have right, anything to do with him or the kids or the wife or anything. They've been married for 16 years. Wow. They moved to Atlanta to pastor a church and actually got kicked out of the church after six weeks of being in the church. So nobody Ooh. knows why yet. Oh, I think I do. But wow. they got kicked out. Mm. Then you have Ivy, who claims that she was a part of the group Escape, mm -hmm. which I actually read that Candy came and cleared the air and said that they never. never a such well, thing when as she Ivy. said that, I mean, I had to go back yeah, and try to was remember, confused. but I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, wait, wait. There was Ivy. never an Ivy. Okay. So her and her husband, they are newlyweds. So, so everything that she's saying from last Sunday, last Tuesday to now to me is a lie. Right. I don't mm -hmm. want to hear anything yeah, she has to say. Then you have Dominique. Now, I like Dominique because she is the glamorous first lady. She's Her hair is fly, makeup's fly, jewelry. She's a business owner. She's got a little boutique that she has for her clothes, nice clothes. The only problem that I have, though, is she's selling $37 weaves. Why, why, why was And gossiping. And gossiping. Now, why, who's going to get their hair done for $37? Like, I just... Don't can, I don't wear weave. I don't put here. As you can see, I cut my hair again. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of weave would you get for thirty seven dollars? I don't know because I don't really. Yeah, see, I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what the prices even I run from. But or, it's, just, it's just real ratchet. Like I haven't seen anything yet where it's actually shining a positive light on the church. It's making a mockery out of the, of the church to me personally. And if I didn't know any better, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to be. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Well, I have a couple of questions in, in association with that because my mom was a first lady of the church and so again, I'm a PK kid, I'm a preacher's kid, so I know, you know, uh, terrible. It is. Absolutely. I thought what we were going to get is, like you said, some inspiration, some, I know that first ladies go through a lot, they, you know, they're in a position where the women are always throwing themselves at their husbands and they they just don't get the acknowledgement that they should get although the 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 pastor will but behind him is a good woman that's you know helping them or whatever so i understand and i get that i thought we were going to see it from that perspective right, right. like having especially when you're saying down. Right. right so i'm trying to figure out where did the sisterhood come from the title sisterhood because I haven't seen nobody holding one another's back yet. Mm -mm. And that was one episode, and I don't plan on really watching it tonight. I'm done. Right. Really. No, I, I have to watch it. See, I, I didn't get to yeah, watch it. See, see it. I didn't get to see it. And I saw you guys posting a lot on well, Facebook about it. And so you when I see a first lady that is going in to do a tattoo, I'm confused about that. Or wasn't it a tattoo? I think I saw one of them. And my thing is, I understand you know where you came from because a lot of people will say well you don't know my background you don't know my history you don't know where i came from that's great but when you're in a first mm -hmm. lady position i don't i don't have to care about your background i'm looking to you to guide me into what's going on. you should have been delivered from all that let me get out of church right, right now go ahead back to expose you with the <laughs> Gee, I'm just done with that show. So I'm going to move on from the Yes, please do. Because her hair going to start sticking to her forehead <laughs> in a minute. Right? So, Love and Hip Hop okay. premiered last yes. night. Ooh. And they have a new cast. The only um, kind of original is Olivia, who is one. Um, Yandy Smith was there from last year. She was Jim Jones' okay. manager. And now we Ooh. have um, Joe Budden. He kind of takes the place of Jim Jones. Um, they're in that same kind of caliber mm -hmm. there. Um, then we have his ex-girlfriend, Tahiri, Tahari, whatever the mm -hmm. case may be. Then we have a winter somebody or another. I don't know who any of these people are, really, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. I don't know if they're video vixens. What One, of them, said One of them said she was a video vixen. vixen. The Takari or whatever. Tahari. Oh, yeah, Tahari. Joe Budden's ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then you have Rocky. Like, he just got a whole bunch of... Females. New females. And I thought Love & Hip Hop was about women who date rappers. Mm -hmm. The only person that dates a rapper on there is, uh, well, Tahari or whatever, Tahiri. She mm -hmm. was dating. They're not together anymore. But um, I'm kind of lost because I really am not interested in watching this season if it's going to be about these women fighting or chasing after Joe Budden. I just don't see yeah. what, like... Or Olivia's manager. Oh, and Rich um. Dollars, yes. Because Erica, she, you remember her? Mm -hmm. She was fighting... Uh, 
Kim Bella yep. all the time last mm -hmm. year, and mm -hmm. she went to Olivia's manager, Rich Dollars, for some help. Yep. Well, rumor has it, and I think it's pretty much true because they are locking lips everywhere they go, is that they're actually engaged. So what? yesterday it came out that they were kind of messing around. He hasn't really said, yeah, this is my girl. Mm -hmm. So that that's starting to... That's probably going to unfold more so wow. throughout the season. So right now we're looking at two males on the show and all these other there women. There is that another are, guy. That, that I'm guy, sure Mendici. No, that's his, Yandy's, that's, Yandy's, that's man. Yandy's Okay. Man. That's, Yandy's okay. Man. that's another issue. I love Yandy, but your baby daddy looks like your son. I'm just saying. Hot mess. Mm. And then, but there and is another like um, person there, um, and I believe he's with the Winter Gomes chick. I'm not sure uh, of his name and what he what he does yet. And I think he's in the industry. I just don't okay. know yet. But it's supposed to get it's supposed to get good. I just don't know how much of it I'm gonna. It's just like a whole bunch of fighting. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like I thought we well, would, I think they I were, we were delivered from now. that. Mm, no. No. That's never no. gonna happen. Yeah. That's their ratings. That's the whole point. Right. That's their ratings. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll keep watching that one for a little while. Though. Yeah, I'm gonna spill it out a little bit. See what's going on. Joe Budden. I'm actually a little surprised that he actually came into this reality show thing. You know, is he broke? Probably, mm. yeah. Like he that. looks like he's going through some emo emotional things. He is. It looks like he's just crazy. I'm just gonna say. Well, he's actually, he's younger than what I thought too. No, he's not really 27. He's not really 27. No. How old is he? Like he's up there. See, that's what I thought. And when he yeah. said 27, I'm no, like, I think he's joking. But you know, somebody said oh. I'm gonna have my 29th birthday. Okay, because I was like, wait a minute, he's not that young, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. But he does have a young girlfriend that, um, if you follow him on Instagram, that you actually pretty much seen their relationship unfold, like where she showed up at one of his parties, he posted a picture of her, and then she just like never left. So I'm trying to figure out where she is all this time while he's running after his ex-girlfriend and trying to mend this yeah. you know, relationship or just have a friendship. I don't they understand do what the, the big time. deal is about why does he need to have a friendship with her so bad. Mm -hmm. so I, I'm I watch think it. one thing leads into the other. He really wants her back, right. not just so right. for exactly. the friendship. He's using that because she came off as, oh, I'm never gonna, Go, go back. This ain't right. gonna happen, mm -hmm. and blah. so he's using the friendship, friendship. thing. And right. trust me, probably by next episode, they'll be back. They'll be. So I will watch because yeah. I want to see how that goes. Just okay. because for the last, you know, since the summertime, he's been kicking it real hard with this other chick, and you know, I just want to see. No him. different from Chris Brown and Rihanna. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I'm gonna watch that one for a little while. Yeah. Mob Wives came back on. Renee I need to watch it. is like vicious. Oh, she's vicious. No, and she's her husband's the still in jail, or is he dead, or is he? What's going on with yeah, her husband? I don't know what's going on with Junior, but I think he's still in jail. Mm. I believe. I don't know. I can't get into Mob Wives. I I, 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 I can't. did when they first came out in last episode. Some of it is just too long, and it's just the same. It's just the same. Caddy women, different show. Just I'm just I'm tired. Oh, yeah. They just leave me too emotional for me to go to bed yeah, and go to it sleep. Was, it was like, real intense the other yeah. day. Like seriously, I posted. I'm like I need to watch a cartoon or something because I'm like way up here. I, yeah, I can't get to it. Like to me, all their voices sound yeah, like just, raspy oh, drunks yeah, like, and, yeah. and they're kind of like guys <laughs> and there's too much plastic surgery. Like, I can't even can't even look at their faces. Like yeah, that's, I can't. All right, but lastly, because I'm I'm running short for time, I want to get into Deception. Deception came okay. on last night. I love Megan Good. Like I just love, 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 love her. And Laz Alonzo with his fine self. Mm -hmm. Deception. Um, it was really good. It was the first episode that came on, and Megan Good is a cop, and she Ooh. had to cover because one of her friends was found, you know, dead from a drug overdose, and now she's in the family house trying to figure out oh who goodness. killed it because they don't think that she really did a drug overdose. It's good. So I'm gonna be watching that one. Um, and that's all I have for today. Okay, I that was a lot. I know. I always say I don't have that I'm much not, today, mm. and then I keep that going. Was, that was. I mean, I mean, in terms of like the new shows that have come yeah. on, I mean, you yeah. Know, so some just good, the rundown. Some... The Sisterhood comes on the Learning Channel. <laughs> I don't know what's Learning, learning. About it, but it's TLC. <laughs> it comes on at 8 p.m. Love and Hip Hop comes on VH1 at 8 p.m. My Wives. And Love and Hip Hop is on Monday, sorry. My Wise is on Sunday at 8 p.m. on VH1, and Deception is at 10 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, Mondays on NBC. Okay. Yes. Well, we got our rundown of our favorite um, reality shows. Um, that's going to wrap things up with us. And I just want to say to the women that are dating online, be very careful. Make sure you know the person. And I say 90-day rule. If you can't meet him in 90 days, cut him. So... 
that's just Miss SC's um, opinion. <laughs> but um, be safe, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Single Ladies Cafe this week. We really, really appreciate it. Single ladies, cafe, single ladies, cafe, 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 cafe,